we're going to take a quick look at installing simple member script on your website. Uh, at this point in time, you should have created a MySQL database and uploaded your simple member script files to your website. Having done that, we will now go to your installation program. I have put mine at simplememberscript.com. I could have left it right there, but I put it in a directory called demo. And then of course I entered install for the directory to install it from. That's all that's required at this point. Press enter and up comes this page. At the bottom of the page you will find a pink area if your system is anything like mine. It's telling you that the permissions on some of your um, files or directories are incorrect and it tells you what they need to be. So switch over to your FTP program as I've done here and I'm going to common and config PHP and I'm going to change the property here to 777 as requested. The next thing it asks is to make the directory payments 777 so I'll do that and in member Oops, sorry. My error in IPN, PayPal, affiliate log, and IPN log. Notice I held the control key down while I selected them on my program. I hit properties and changed them to 777. And I'm now finished with that. I go back to my page and it says refresh to recheck permissions and my permissions all come up green so that means I've done it correctly. If you had missed one or done it incorrectly it would have showed up again as pink. Next proceed to the next step and here you will need to put your uh, information for your MySQL database. Now that you've got your database settings in front of you, um, I have mine here. Um, the first thing it asks you for is your host name. In most systems you will have to do nothing, but because I use one in one it's necessary for me <clears throat> to copy in the correct name. Usually that's localhost but because of my hosting systems uh, way of doing things I need to copy that name down. The next thing I need is the database name. Not the database user but the database. So I enter that and then I go back and get the database username. Copy that right here database password simple enough now I might mention that once I finish making this demo I am going to erase this site <clears throat> now it says database prefix and it uses SMS by default I'm using SMD for simple member demo you can put any letters there you would like. Okay, now the next thing you need to do <clears throat> is go down here and put the physical path to your site. And that's everything right back to ground zero from your host. If you're unsure of that, you can check with your host and company and find that out. Then you need to put the domain. And then 
the directory if you put it in a different directory. And remember, once you've got the directory, to put a slash at the end of it. Submit that, and it asks you <coughs> for the name you'll use for your admin login. Well, for this one, I'll use admin, and the password I'll use admin. Please use something secure, or you will find that your site is being hacked. And then you need to put uh, your uh, email at whatever uh, place you have it and uh, your PayPal uh, email address. Uh, maybe I better not say that. Uh, your name at your site.com, whatever that is, so that you can collect your fees. PayPal here is a method of collecting fees for this site. <clears throat> now at this point you're done. It's installed. If you wish to set up a, a cron job so that your mail can be sent out at specific times, it shows you here how to do that. And if you think you might be going to do that, then copy this and save it for later. Otherwise, click on Login as Admin. And I put my logins and press the key. And there we are. And you'll notice it tells me you have not deleted the install directory. Well, that's part of the install. So let's just go back here, find our install directory, delete it. OK, it's gone. Go back here, reload the page. It's gone. We're now finished installing our program and are ready to set up our own uh, site now. And. Uh, it, that will be the uh, subject of another video in the future. If you do not have a copy of the Simple Member Script, you can get your copy from simplememberscript.com. Thank you.